I will have the tower searched, top to bottom. You cannot do that. You have no right. I have every right. You are harboring blood mages, and I intend to root them out before they infect this city. Blood magic? Where do you not see blood magic? My people cannot sneeze without you accusing them of corruption. Do not trifle with me, mage. My patience is at an end. A wonder that I never saw it begin. This needs to stop. This does not involve you, champion. I called him here. I think the people deserve to know just what you've done. What I have done is protect the people of this city time and again. What I have done is protect you mages from your curse and your own stupidity. And I will not stop doing it. I will not lower our guard. I dare not. Is there any truth to what she's saying? These are only her latest accusations, nothing more. And what if she does not find what she's looking for? How much further will she go to root out something that isn't there? The champion knows better than anyone how deep the circle's corruption goes. I must find the source. This needs to stop. What other option do we have? Tell me, champion, that you have not seen with your own eyes what they can do. Heard the lies of mages that seek power. They're not the only ones that lie and seek power. You would cast us all as villains, but it is not so. I know, and it breaks my heart to do it. But we must be vigilant. If you cannot tell me another way, do not brand me a tyrant. This is getting us nowhere. Grand Cleric Athena will put a stop to this. You will not bring her grace into this. The Grand Cleric cannot help you. Explain yourself, mage. I will not stand by and watch you treat all mages like criminal, while those who would lead us bow to their Templar jailers. How dare you speak to the me? The Circle has failed us, Orsino. Even you should be able to see that. The time has come to act. There can be no half measures. Anders, what have you done? There can be no turning back. Why didn't she listen to me? Blessed be the souls of the faithful that they ascend to your right hand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I remove the chance of compromise, because there is no compromise. The Grand Cleric has been slain by magic. The Chantry destroyed. As Knight Commander of Kirkwall, I hereby invoke the right of annulment. Every mage in the Circle is to be executed. Immediately! The Circle didn't even do this! Champion, you can't let her help us stop this madness! And I demand you stand with us! Even you must see that this outrage cannot be tolerated. Why are we debating the right of annulment when the monster who did this is right here? I swear to you, I will kill him. It can't be stopped now. You have to choose. Was that why you needed me to distract the Grand Cleric? You were part of this? If you knew what I was doing, you would have felt honor bound to stop me. I couldn't take that chance. The Circle is an injustice. In many places beyond Kirkwall, the world needs to see. Elthina is not the Circle. She was a good woman, and you murdered her! You fool! You've doomed us all! We were already doomed. A quick death now, or a slow one later. 
I'd rather die fighting. The Circle does more harm than good. It doesn't matter. Even if I wished to, I could not stay my hand. The people will demand blood. Meredith needs to be stopped. But what of Anders? I must stand for order, Hawk. Against you, if need be. You sure about this? Even you might not win this fight. I know we can do this. I believe in you, Hawk. Ah, oh, shit. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Isabella? Think carefully, champion. Stand with them and you share their fate. I would prefer their fate to yours. Thank the Maker. I see what you are trying to do, and my place... ...is with you. You are a fool, champion. Kill them all! I will rouse the rest of the Order! Go! Get to the gallows before it's too late! So it's come to this. I don't know if we can win this war, champion, but... ...thank you. I will leave your... ...friend for you to deal with. I must return to the gallows. Meet me there as soon as you can. There's nothing you can say that I haven't already said to myself. I took a spirit into my soul and changed myself forever to achieve this. This is the justice all mages have awaited. I might have understood if you'd only told me. You condone this. The brutal death of an innocent woman of faith. Someone you knew. Who trusted you. I wanted to tell you. But what if you stopped me? Or worse, what if you wanted to help? I couldn't let you do that. The world needs to see this. Then we can all stop pretending the circle is a solution. And if I pay for that with my life, then I pay. Perhaps then justice would at least be free. Opinions. If I'd been in that chantry today, would you be waffling? You know what must be done. Bold plan. Well, I thought so. Belief is no excuse. Sincerity does not justify this. He should come with us. Do what he can to put things right. I think I'm sick of mages and Templars. Whatever you do, just do it. Help me defend the mages. You mean... ...stay with you? I didn't think you'd let me. But if you do... ...I'll fight the Templars. Damned right I will. No! You cannot let this abomination walk free. He dies, or I am returning to Starkhaven. And I will bring such an army with me on my return... ...that there'll be nothing left of Kirkwall for these Maleficarum to rule. Do not interfere, Sebastian. You're the one who taught me that it is the ends that matter, not the steps you take to get there. I swear to you, I will come back and find your precious Anders. I will teach him what true justice is. Thank you for my life. I'll try not to make such a mess of it this time. How invigorating. We'd all best get to the gallows. And quick. It's going to be quite a show. Carver! Your family has convenient timing. I've been looking everywhere for you. I thought you were dead. Not a chance. Look... I know what happened in the Deep Roads. You saved my life, and I didn't even thank you. But... You're the only family I have left. I have to stand by you. Just say the word and you'll have my blade. I thought the Order was supposed to be neutral. I'm a Warden because of you. I blamed you for a long time, but... You saved more than my life. I am so much more than I was. This is what I was meant to be. And I won't thank you by doing nothing while you start a war. Your blade would be welcome. The Hawk Brothers together again, huh? Just like old times.
Stay where you are. There is no escape. Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. First Enchanter. Champion, you've survived, thank the Maker. We must... And here you are. Let us speak, Meredith. Before this battle destroys the city you claim to protect. I will entertain a surrender. Nothing more. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. The time for talking is done. Evidently so. I suppose I should have expected no less from you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. Fellow mages, heed me. The Templars will come. For all our power, we cannot defeat such an army. There is only one option for us all. Survive. Do not submit. Do not fall on your knees before them. Get out of Kirkwall. Spread word to the other circles. They will not get away with this. Prepare your people, champion, and then speak with me. If we have any chance of surviving, it will be with your help. Brother, you always seem to find a way to make my life difficult. I should be hunting archdemons, but... It feels right to be at your side again. Don't go soft on me. We'll need some anger for the fight. Don't worry about that. I have to make sure your mess doesn't get out of control. The world is a big place. But the faces are the same. We do right here. We make a difference. You'll get my best. And then some. I wish... I wish Mother could have seen us like this. I don't know what she would think about the rest, but... She always knew it would take something like this to bring us together. I suppose she did. I'm proud to call you brother. That's gone unsaid too long. In war, victory, champion. And whatever else may come. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. We're in for a mess now. How do you talk me into these things? Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. 
I know I make life hard for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You're a piece of work, you know. The Maker... The Maker will be honored to have you at his side. Nervous, Hawk? It's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, it is. I won't lie to you. This story of ours could end real badly. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. There's no telling what's waiting for us. Just like always. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet Destiny? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? In a moment, I'll look down and see I have no pants on. <laughs> the champion of Kirkwall going to battle naked. Why can't I ever have that dream? Hawk, before we go... I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. Make sure you're ready. I need you at your best. Don't worry. I'm not going to let you down. Your life would have been easier if you had just cut me out of it. But you stood by me. You defied the Canari and fought their Arashok for me, even after I betrayed you. If you'd gone with them, I wouldn't have been able to yell at you. Oh, well... I'm glad you wanted to yell at me so badly, then. I know I don't exactly inspire confidence, but I swear, I'm going to come through for you this time. When you look for me, I'll be fighting at your side. I should have trusted you. Even with all we've shared, I never thought you'd spare my life. If we live through this, you know I'll be hunted. No one in Kirkwall will offer me mercy. But... If you would join me, I'd rather be on the run with you than safe with anyone else. Then we will be fugitives together. We can build a world where no one ever dies for being how the Maker created them. Ten years, a hundred years from now, someone like me will love someone like you. And there will be no Templars to tear them apart. May the Maker bring us victory, or everything else is meaningless. I will always love you. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. Let them come. Very well. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Varric, stay out of sight and use your crossbow. Bianca's ready and willing. You know what the Templars believe, what they're afraid of, but that's their burden, not ours. They are not taking the life I built. They don't get to decide how this ends. We do. Champion, it is beginning. drown us as infants. Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. 
Meredith will die long before you do. If only I could believe that. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. Meredith expects blood magic, then I will give it to her. Make her help us all. And here we are, champion. At long last. I was afraid you were going to let everyone else do your fighting. Not at all. I am here to see order restored. What happens to you now is your own doing. You were never part of this circle, and I tolerated that. But in defending them, you've chosen to share their fate. Knight Commander. I thought we intended to arrest the Champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. I will not allow insubordination. We must stay true to our path! You recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The Dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartrand's mind in the end. He was weak, whereas I am not. All of you, I want him dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds, to turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's clearly lost her mind. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked, and do not falter! Maker, your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil!
slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. He had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the champion's side. Well, all of us except for Anders. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. A new legend had been born. So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. He is a hero. A man that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. He may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Oh, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. <laughs>